Hey guys, hope you are all having a great weekend. As promised, today I want to talk about Computer Share. If you don't know, Computer Share has been making a lot of fuzz lately in the community. The purpose of this video is to inform you as to what this is, what its relation is to the squeeze, and what it means for you as an investor. This is a whole breakdown of it so if you are lost and know nothing about it, you have clicked on the right video. I want to credit the entire Super Stonk community for the findings we are about to discuss. I want to ask you guys to watch until the very end of the video. You need all the information I am about to share. Before we get started with today's segment, let me quickly disclose and state that I am not a financial analyst or advisor, and that all contents discussed in this video are provided as opinions. All efforts are placed to better understand the nature of the current market in anticipation of the greatest squeeze in financial history. Everything presented is evidence I collect, and all opinions are based on research, experience and knowledge on the matter. Shout out to all my Patreons and one-time donors, who continue to support and carry this channel into greatness. Let's dive right into the good stuff. Before we get to computer share, let's first understand a couple of basic market structure concepts. Per the SEC website, as an individual investor, you have up to three choices when it comes to holding your securities. There is a physical certificate, which is when a security is registered in your name on the issuer's books and you received a hard copy stock or bond certificate. Then there is a street name registration, where the security is registered in the name of your brokerage firm, and the same brokerage firm holds the security for you in book entry form. It means you do not receive a certificate, but your broker keeps a record in its books that you own that security. And then there is direct registration, which is what we are going to talk about, which is when a security is registered in your name on the issuer's books, and the company or transfer agent holds the security for you in book entry form. Direct registration allows investors to transfer securities. When we buy through a broker like Fidelity, TD Ameritrade or Robinhood, we are using the street name registration. Due to the way street name works, shorters have been able to keep borrowing from the float to short stocks, because they can keep locating shares. You see, brokers don't have to purchase a share on the market when you buy them. Instead, they can reasonably locate a share. As you know, hedge funds and other shorters have been able to infinitely reasonably locate shares to short. This has presented a bit of a challenge for investors waiting for the squeeze because through their manipulation, they have been able to effectively delay the process. And this is when the direct registration part comes in. Due to the way it works, which is by having your securities register on your name on the issuer's books, the amount of shares that remain on the float decrease. Brokers and shorters will find it hard to reasonably locate shares to borrow or use. When there is less of something, what do you think happens to the price of the asset? That's right, it should grow. Shorters, including market makers like Virtue and Citadel, would find it hard to control and manipulate the stock price because they have less shares to play with. The DTC, which we have talked to death on this channel, actually offers the service to transfer agents as the direct registration system. This allows companies to register their own shares. For those a bit newer to stocks, companies have shares outstanding, which means the full total amount of shares the corporation that have been authorized, issued and purchased. Then there is the shares float, which are the shares that the company has issued to the public. Companies, through the services offered by the DTC, register their shares like all other companies. And this is where we bring it back to GameStop and AMC. The designated transfer agent for our two beloved companies is Computer Share. Just so that you guys know, Computer Share is the official transfer agent for Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Walmart, Coca-Cola, IBM, Apple, Google, Tesla, Netflix, Chevron, ExxonMobil and many other blue chip stocks, so to say they are not legitimate is either an ignorant statement or an outright lie with intent to misinform others. Companies register the shares that they own, this is known standard practice. The shares that they release through the public don't go through the same process, because as we explained earlier, they get a different type of registration. They get the street name registration for the most part, which as explained, is when the security is registered in the name of your brokerage firm. When companies directly register their shares, they essentially exclude them from manipulation or other forces in the market because they are literally set apart. Perfect. Now that we have a solid understanding of what directly registering your shares means and how computer share is relevant, we can move on as to what this means for the squeeze. The general motivation in people transferring their shares from their brokers over to computer share comes in the benefit that it will further withdraw shares available from market makers and other shorters. 
This should allow the stocks, theoretically speaking, to move higher over time, and ultimately cause the squeeze to happen faster. If enough people start switching over, then by all means this will start to present a challenge to market makers. This is totally theoretical, but ever since this computer share topic came to the eye of the super stonk community, and people started transferring their shares, there has been a steady rise over in GameStop, something we talked about. Again, this is just an observation and the rise could be due to other factors, but the coincidence in time is something to be noted. Given all we have said, we come down to the most important part of it all. Should you move your shares over from your broker to computer share? So far, from what I have seen, people are adapting really good to computer share. It does not have all the fancy tools that brokers give you for trading, and you have to understand that it might take a little while to adapt to that. Another thing to note is that computer share has a ceiling of $1 million per transaction for selling. If you are selling more than $1 million has to be submitted in writing. This means that if you are about to sell enough shares whose amount is over $1 million, you need to submit it in writing. Computer share has all the instructions on how to go about this. It shouldn't take super long, but know that a small delay could happen through this little process. The squeeze, hypothetically speaking, should take a couple of days. In fact, in GameStop alone, people are so unwilling to sell that the squeeze might take weeks of pure bullish price action. This will have implications for AMC and other meme stocks that I cannot predict, but it gets me really jacked. Again, do know that ComputerShare is not a broker and their user interface will be different so it might take a while to get used to. Something that is extremely important to note is that you do not have to transfer all of your stocks from your broker to ComputerShare. You can do them in portions, which should give you a sense of security while you get your feet wet. If you don't like it, then you can transfer back to your broker. Another thing to note is that you can transfer other stocks to computer share. You will still be receiving dividends in those stocks as well if they have that. Computer share also has limit sales available. The transfer process to and from computer share into other broker is not instant however, and it might take a couple of days, so keep note of that. I will also link a super stonk post that has all the instructions on how to transfer over your securities to computer share if you decide on doing that. The link will be in this video's description. If you want to know what I am doing as a way to measure your own decision, I will be sticking with TD Ameritrade for now, and will wait and see how things go about. I may start to transfer eventually, splitting my own holdings, but TD Ameritrade has too many functions and tools that are not on computer share. Though I am now only buying and holding strong to my GameStop and AMC, after the squeeze happens, I will go back to trading other stocks, and will be using the Think or Swim platform provided by TD Ameritrade, so it is unlike I will stay in computer share forever. If I use it, it will be to park my shares until the squeeze. After I sell, I will withdraw my money and park it in Lambos and back to my TD Ameritrade account. Again, this is just me, and I want you guys to make your own decision. I disclosed this as a way to be transparent and honest with you, just like I am when I buy GameStop shares and screenshot the orders and tweet them. For now, I will stick to TD Ameritrade and when we squeeze, I have no doubt TD Ameritrade, Vanguard, Charles Schwab and Fidelity will be all perform and execute my orders, just like ComputerShare will. The idea behind transferring over to ComputerShare is to bring the squeeze faster, and it will be super interesting to see the price action as we start withdrawing the fuel that has allowed market makers and other shorters to kick the can down and maintain a monopoly on the price. If there is one last thing I want you guys to keep in mind, it's that you do not have to rush to make a decision by Monday. Take your time. Do your own research if you want, feel free to take some time to think things through and then once you feel confident about what you want to do, then make a decision. Do what you think is right for you. If you want to contribute to this growing change in order to try to advance the squeeze, then do it. If you want to wait and see, then keep it in your head that you can change whenever you want. If you don't like the idea of switching over because you trade other stocks and like your broker, then stick with your broker. I only care about informing you guys so that you can make the best informed decisions. Do not let anyone pressure you into switching, and feel free to call them out. It's your money and you do not need to do anything aside from holding what you have. You are not to be forced or subjugated into anything just because some random dude on the internet wants the squeeze immediately. Take your time, think things through and then make a change if you find it fitting. Much love to you guys. I ask one thing from you guys. Please share this video everywhere. Everyone needs to know exactly what computer share is, what the pros and cons are, what it means for the squeeze and how to go about it.
please take a moment and share the video on your social media. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thank you for making it to the end of this video, I appreciate you guys so much. If you want to really support the channel long term, I have provided links which will be in the description for donations and a Patreon if you would like to pledge a monthly donation of any kind. This support really goes a long way for me guys. All money is spent on improving equipment and other parts of the channel so that we can continue to upgrade the quality of simulate and trade. It is my source of income as I am doing this full time now. It makes a huge impact and difference, so if you are able and willing, do consider it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, keep enjoying your weekend and to the moon.